Hey, what do you think? We had the opportunity to go back out to Crystal River and we had the opportunity to fish with Captain Leon again. This guy never disappoints. What's up, boys? Leon? Leon? Y'all ready? Yeah, we're, How you doing, we're man? ready, yeah. man. We're ready to fire it up. Let's you ready? do it. Let's go catch some fish. Let's do it. A few months ago, we did a fishing, inshore fishing trip with Captain Leon with Real Time Outfitters and he invited us to go do a near shore shallow water grouper trip, which we did that today. So Leon, let's talk a little bit about what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go uh, grab some pinfish first thing this morning. And then we're gonna run out to a set of rocks what I have and see if we can get on some uh, groupers in the about 15 feet of water first thing this morning. Okay, how are we gonna catch them? We're gonna use uh, some pinfish and we're also going to try some artificials off on that rock too awesome awesome see if we can get them chewing this morning do you whenever you're throwing whenever you're doing the artificials are you trolling them or are you casting no, and, and pulling at them this spot we're going to just uh cast them and they're big giant paddle tail tails and okay. we're just going to work them back to us awesome how, them how far out we going uh it's going to be about seven miles out it's not bad seven miles 15 foot of water <laughs> no, not bad at all. We started our day grabbing some pinfish out of my traps. One of my traps got hit by a local fisherman. And then we uh, had enough in the other two traps. Ran out to uh, one of my rock piles I have in 15 foot of water chummed up some pinfish on the bottom and dropped uh, some live pinfish down and instantly we had a double hook up. All right, so with these pinfish, you wanna hook them right in front of these two little fins right here mm -hmm. on the belly, all right? And the reason for that is because it makes it swim down. It swims down, yes. You can get away with a little bit lighter of a weight doing it that way, but I got a bigger weight on here for some reason. There he is. Oh, yeah. oh here he's still there. You gotta pull that thing out of there. <laughs> Breathe though, Matt. <laughs> he ain't that big. He ate it immediately though. You set it down. I'll say that didn't take long. <laughs> I'll say that didn't take very long. That's a baby. I felt that thing go. Oh yeah, get him out of there. Keep him coming. What, what, 20 seconds in? Yeah, not even. <laughs> Man, they're down there pretty thick. <laughs> My gosh. It's taken me five years to try to figure this stuff out. And it's 20 seconds. He got one hooked up behind you there, Matt. Oh. Oof. Oh my gosh, I got a good one. Both of y'all? Are y'all fighting each other? You're on the rock. Oh, he's in the rock. He got my That's good. Holy cow. Leon's dude. got him one. Oh yeah. Look at that one. Dang. Nice fish. He had me all over the I saw that. That thing was seesaw. I'm in the rocks. This one had me in the rocks man he's about yanked right out that, of my hand that's a keeper in it i got your rod you got it yeah that one look, 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 swim out. Look, look at that look at that you see where he scraped oh yeah, yeah from the rocks. oh yeah that's Trying awesome to get up in there that's a 
held tension on them. It's awesome. Good one there, Leon. Yeah, so we, we decided to go to another spot and started doing some trolling. Oh, there you go. There he is. Wow. And we stayed in that 10 to 15 foot of water and we're running eight foot diving plugs and we put them out there about a hundred feet behind the boat. He freaking nailed it. That's crazy. Unbelievable. Feel like a pretty good one? Nah. He's a hell of a fight though, man. God almighty. What's that? It's a good fight. That is so cool. That's awesome. I mean, that plug is just going back and forth vibrating. Then all of a sudden it just wham, wham. We did start the day by catching some grouper on some pinfish. But whenever he pulled out these plugs, about five inches long, giant treble hooks, that's when the fun began. Oh my God. Why? Todd. Wine, that's a good one. Keep them coming, boy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Heck yeah. <sighs> All right, got him. All out. right. Okay, let me help you. So we had 6,000 series reels and we're casting these plugs as far as we can and we're reeling them over rock piles just about as fast as you can. And you get it reeling and whenever these grouper come up out of the rocks and they hit it, it is a dog fight. It is a dog fight from the time. I was tired just reeling the plug in. Oh, oh, oh. I ran it right beside it. Oh, you got them like hooked in the side and the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, oh, my. Oh, 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 I got another cool one. <laughs> right by the boat. This one tried to get into a rock. I'll be almost right here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Hey, throwing crankbaits for grouper. Care, Matt. <laughs> yeah. What a good time, huh? Throwing These plugs. Fun. Winding them just about as fast as you can, and it just stops. Crush it. Yours is a little bigger than mine. I think yours would just about eat mine. <laughs> oh, man. That is this is like bass fishing on steroids the grouper bite was just insane and these fish fight pound for pound and there's more to these grouper in the shallow water than there is when you're going out in the deeper water in about say 40 to 50 feet you're almost playing tug of war with the grouper because you're trying to fight these grouper to go out of the rocks, the ledges. Um, they can go from one rock pile to the next rock pile, so you have to really have to manhandle them to get them up out of the rocks. Oh my goodness. You gotta, you gotta wind, you gotta wind. You gotta wind. You rock. Oh, it's coming out. Good job, dude. Oh. oh. Woo. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> On the reel. On the reel. And he popped off, too, didn't he? Broke the treble hook off the front of my plug. 
That's insane. So how deep is it right here? Is it what, eight? Eight foot. Eight foot. Yes, sir. Oh. Yep, he makes it. Yes, he does. All right. Hey, any way you can put that hook back on this plug, man, yep, we'll keep I this sure plug. <laughs> I'm out here trying to catch a humpback whale. <laughs> I know you better not get one on that cast right there. One hits that, I'm it's cutting cast, your line. Man. I'm cast. cutting your line. I've been casting. That whole time you was just still... <laughs> you know, that whole time you was If you decide that this is something that you want to do, you should book a trip with Captain Leon with Real Time Outfitters. This guy is the most personable and friendly and professional guide that I've ever been in the boat with. And Captain Leon, you know, I appreciate him for taking us out and do something like that because that was, you know, most of that's a new experience for me myself. If you like this video that we did today and you're looking to come out and fish with me, give me a call at 352-461-9171 or visit our website at realtimeoutfitter.com. This grouper fishing is during the month of November to the end of December is when it's the best. So we're back at Pete's Pier and Captain Leon's fillet and the fish that we caught today. And underneath the dock, there's always these resident tarpon. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take some of these carcasses and we're gonna hand feed 150 pound tarpon. Big tarpon. Nothing small, huge. Watch this. Look at him, he's already waiting for you. Tarpon are used to all of us captains feeding them. All that you gotta do is slap your hand in the water. And sometimes they'll come up and just pop your fingers. They don't have teeth. 